<laughs> My name is Justin Bishop. I'm the Art Centre Manager for Wienham Arts and I have uh, with me on the red couch here at Wool and Gap Art Gallery. Uh, Sandra Ace and Margaret Mara, we're both artists with Wienham and we both live in Marpoon. Which is? Oh, oh, an hour, what, 70 kilometres? 76 kilometres north, north of Weeper. Which oh, is yeah. 10 hours drive from Cairns. Yes. Yeah. Mapoon is a community of six tribes. We all share Mapoon. Um, and kind of back when they, when they started the mission, it was a place they brought half caste children to, so it's stolen generation, and it was the, was it a presbytery yes. mission? Yeah. Yes, yeah, presbytery mission, so it was a church mission. In, in the early 60s, 1965, the burning of Mapun happened and families were taken away from home. Yes. So whatever reasons, the government decided that um, Mapun was going to be closed, so they forcibly removed the people and burnt homes, but the church and everyone had no choice. They were removed and late. In the late 80s, 80s, we got our... A lot of families decided, okay, we're just going to move back. Mm. And families that were living down south, all that, a lot of people came together and um, supported, financially supported those few families that initially went back to build Mapuna again. And and we are, like, we just went from strength to strength from there. We just have communities striving forward and, yeah, it's really good. But one thing that's a bit sad is, and it's in this case for the traditional people and for the stolen generation people, is that like the culture was, wasn't allowed to be practiced, so that's been lost. So for traditional people there, they don't know much of their culture. Historical, the, well we are classed as historical, those stolen generation families, and we don't know our culture either because that's been lost because a lot of us don't know exactly where we come from. So we share that also. And I think, well, I firmly believe through art, it's a way for us to maybe express, express the journey of Mapu. Yes, and, and maybe regain some of that culture. So maybe in a very <coughs> different way, of course, because that wasn't passed down. But I think it's important for people well, especially Indigenous people to have some kind of culture because it helps us to feel that we belong to we something. Belong, yeah. And, you know, culture evolves. So this is an evolution of our culture. And it just, art gives us a way to express that and to kind of maybe recapture some of that stuff that was lost and just tell tell the story. So, it's so with, um, with the, the way that the artists from Wienham make their marks, do their paintings, um, the colours that are used, they're not traditional, are they? They're, it's it's well, drawn yes, from it's, something different? Yes, different I think place. we, and I think we all probably are very similar with the colours that are around us, what yeah. we see. What we see, what colours we, we see. see. And on our country that makes our art so look then like therefore what we see is not the, what you would term as the traditional indigenous art work colors so you know you'll see bright colors because we've got nice pretty flowers and mm. all of that kind of stuff but you know we've got beautiful blues of the ocean and all the beautiful greens and the red dust of the, with the bauxite and so we've got a huge color palette to choose from yeah and probably then also because I paint a lot emotionally, so emotions have their own set of colours that... And, and I think that's great that we can use that. It, I don't think that as Indigenous people we should be put in a box and say we only can use these colours. Yeah. And we, should, we could only use, do this style. You know, <coughs> we're artists. Before anything else, 
we're artists and artists create and it comes from inside. Yes, we're indigenous, but we're also artists and just like every other artist, you know, you use what you have, you use what you see and that's what we're, I think it, it comes from too. It's, we didn't grow up with a strict culture. We grew up with culture. A with culture. With a degree of culture, but so I think maybe we're more free to express what you want what we how we want and, and what we want yes so. and so with so Margaret with um, your printmaking practice and you've been doing printmaking for a pretty long time now with Diane yes and you've gone from images that look like you know build up or um, you know these highly layered yes. pieces to pieces that are far more expressive. Can, can you describe? Yes. Well, I wanted to wanted a way to get across what was a better way to get across what was going on inside because I'm very influenced by my emotions about what's going on in my life. That's what comes out in my paintings, and I wanted to me. I was thinking it. It needs to come out of here, out of my hands, because that's part of me. So I tried to do it with painting, and it kind of wasn't, mm, it just wasn't working. So when I got the bursary, the Van Coopie bursary, that was an opportunity for me to try something different. Yeah. So I wasn't sure how I was going to do it, but <coughs> I just put some music on, had the plate in front of me, got some paint, and just kind of zoned out and just let it happen, just let it all come out of my hands and it was amazing because, you know, at the end of it I looked at it and oh my gosh, that's, I did it, like, this is how I can do it. Yeah. And the exhibition here has um, quite a few monoprints as well. Yes. Oh, I notice? love monoprints. That was kind of thing, when I first heard about it, I thought, oh, yeah, no, I don't know. But that was because I was waiting for plates to be ready to go into the next phase and I thought, okay, I'll give it a go. And I love it. You're quite never sure what you're going to get, but it's kind of like you've got an instant piece of artwork. And I, know, I, just, I just love it. It's just you can get really creative and you can experiment a lot. And sometimes the stuff isn't that great, but a lot of the times it is. It's just wonderful. And I like the idea that there's just only one of it. So... This one off, really love that. <laughs> yeah. And Sandra, so you've been with Weenham for a few years now. Yep. Um, and you've been primarily painting. Yeah. Do you want to describe um, how you came to be working with Weenham Arts? Yeah, um, I think it was um, a conversation through the women's art group that Margaret and Daphne had some um, art stuff to be done and and it picked up from there, so love it, artist life. Um, most of my art is about totem and country and where my grandmother took us to go hunting and gathering. Most of it is based on there and, and I feel like when I'm doing those paintings, I go actually on country in those areas and just sit there and think of what to do for art. But it's also like Margaret said, it's a connection where you go to country and you take your shoes off and you feel the ground connect and then a beautiful piece of art is, you know, on display. So, um... And so this is the first exhibition that you've been in outside of Kayaf with, with Wiener? Yep, How does it, it, is, how does it um, feel to be...? A wonderful experience. Um, not a traveller, but I love it. Art has put me in areas where I thought I'd never be and, and get involved in. So, Justin, you're doing a wonderful job. <laughs> and Margaret. <laughs> Art was introduced to me by my cousin, so Margaret and Daphne are my cousins, so we love what we're doing, we love being around together. Um, everything we do is for art and our community. And I think, like I said, I was saying to Sandra, a lot of people love doing art, but there's only very few who have a passion for right. it. 
And I said, oh, I said to her, she's got a passion. I have a passion for yes. it. I love it. <laughs> it's also a healing process. I, um, yeah, it's very therapeutic. Up, uh, therapeutic, yeah. yeah. When I lost mum, it was something that I could lean on to. And it helped me through it. So, yeah. Right. So th this exhibition, Heart of Country, New Works from West Cape York, is an um, exhibition that has uh, recent paintings, recent prints, some work that goes back a couple of years, and then some earlier work. Uh, it's the first major group show that Wiener Marts has had in about five years, outside of the kind of Kayaf style model. Um, and the first major show um, for Wiener Marts here in, in Brisbane. And we'd just like to thank Wollongabba Art Gallery um, and Alex and Bob for the opportunity for us um, to talk about Marpoon, um, Naprinam uh, and the Weeper region and the, the history that um, comes in and behind the artwork that Sandra, Margaret, uh, Zoe, Marsha, Samantha and Daphne um, have on the walls here. So we'd like to say thank you very much to Wollongabba Art Gallery for the opportunity for us to tell our story. So thanks guys. Thank yes, you. thank you very much. Thank you very much. You know, coming from a remote community, it's kind of scary, but this has been a wonderful experience and I love this space. It's, I think it's, 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 it's great. I, I, I really appreciate it that you've made it so welcoming and we feel very comfortable here and the work looks great hanging on the walls <laughs> and I'm just I'm really grateful that, that our first experience like this has been a really good one. Just really enjoyed last night opening and yes, just thank you again. Look forward to more collaboration with you guys. Yeah. <laughs>